Hi there, my name is Chris, and let me show you this uh, little puzzle here. It's called a Pyraminx Crystal, and uh, right now I'm just going to look it over really quick before I go about solving it. Um, here's a few things I got to say about this video first. Um, I'm, right now I'm just doing a voiceover um, after shooting this whole thing. Uh, it's going to run about 10 minutes long, and uh, I can't do it any faster at this present time. However, um, I am working on my solve time, so uh, when I get quite a bit faster, maybe around six or seven minutes, maybe even hopefully five minutes, um, can't really guarantee that, but if I do get to that point, uh, I will make another solve video of this puzzle, and uh, hopefully it won't be such a snooze fest. Now, as you can tell, there's a little bit of um, blurring going on with the... Uh, camera and I'm not too sure why it's happening I think it's probably because uh, as I'm moving the puzzle around um, the cameras kinda getting confused as to where to focus and um, I apologize for that I'm not using my uh, trusty eyesight because it's not so trusty anymore um, it's been failing me for some odd reason so instead of the eyesight I'm using my uh, Fuji FinePix uh, SD2000 camera um, which uh, got me through uh, quite a few adventures in, uh, you know, both here and in Germany. So, um, well, without uh, without wasting any more time talking about uh, the camera, um, which again I apologize for the blurriness, um, but uh, all in all, it's still a pretty good quality right now. Um, right now, filming at uh, 640 resolution, and uh, I didn't want didn't really want to do it at HD because. Uh, <laughs> I didn't want to uh, uh, waste that much time. I don't have that powerful of a computer to uh, be able to do uh, HD very uh, quickly and easily. Um, in fact, it'd probably take me about several hours to compile um, the way that I want to do things. So, anyways, um, as you can tell, I'm not that quick with this puzzle, but um, I do hold my own. At least I was able to get myself time down to. Uh, around 10 minutes, maybe a little bit under at times, but um, this was uh, kind of a tricky solve uh, in some parts. Uh, as you can tell, I was having a little bit of a hard time right there with turning uh, some of the facets of this thing, and the reason why is because uh, um, the puzzle is a little loose in some parts, a little tight in others. I tried calibrating it as best as I could. It's one of those puzzles that you can, you know, they actually uh, this is made by Mefferts, and uh, Mr. Meffert actually encouraged uh, us to uh, calibrate these things using a uh, optical screwdriver or a really, a really small screwdriver. Um, and I did that, and the screws kept on getting so loose that they would po almost pop out. So what I did was I, a while back, I took this puzzle apart. And, you know, I mean, just took it completely apart. I took all the screws out and put some thread lock in those screws. And that did the trick. The, the, uh, the screws no longer really have to be adjusted very much. Um, I did adjust it a little bit just, you know, before doing this video just to make sure I did everything okay. And um, it, it did pretty well. I mean, uh, it still locks up at times, but otherwise it's pretty good. So that's kind of my uh, little mini review of the uh, Pyraminx Crystal. It's a very good puzzle to uh, uh, tinker around with and play with. And it provides a nice challenge. I think the first time I bought it, uh, it took me about six hours to try and solve the first time. Now I can do it in ten minutes. Well, right now I'm going to put on some music. Um, this is actually something I created a while back uh, using GarageBand on Apple, and um, it was it, it was just something you know that I I wanted to do you know just uh, you know a little project for myself to try and accomplish in GarageBand because um, you know sometimes I do like to dabble in music and. Um, Really, that's all I have to say about it. Is this, you know, a fun little ditty? I was very proud of it for a while, but uh, now that I know even more about how to do that kind of stuff, um, it's kind of a <laughs> sort of a uh, I don't know, 
what, what you call it. Yeah, it's not something that I would, I'm particularly proud of right now, but uh, yeah, it's something I could take a little bit of pride in. Well, anyways, I'll uh, kind of shut my app and just let the uh, let the solve kind of uh, speak for itself and the music uh, play for itself. As you can tell, I've got about half of the puzzle solved now. One thing I have to say about uh, this type of puzzle is that, uh, uh, unlike a, unlike on a Rubik's cube, um, well, first off, the Rubik's cube, uh, the thing that makes a Rubik's cube so difficult is the fact that you only have a very limited space to uh, kind of, you know, put the pieces, you know, kind of manipulate the pieces and put it, put them in their proper places. Uh, with a puzzle like this, where it's got a lot of room to play with, uh, you can put the pieces pretty much anywhere, I mean, you can just, um, you can take the pieces and you can basically use the surface area of the puzzle to, um, really manipulate pieces to put them in their correct spots a lot easier than you can on something as small as a Rubik's Cube. Um, but when you get to the point that I'm at right now, where you just, you know, you s right now you're seeing me hesitate, um, it's because uh, I've, I'm quickly running out of room. I've got a lot of pieces in their proper spots. And because of that, you don't really want to disturb them um, any more than you absolutely have to. So there was a couple times where I'm like, okay, uh, where am I going to go? All right, well, maybe I'll put this over here, maybe I'll put this over here. Oh, wait, I can't quite do that. So, um, it took a little fast thinking to uh, try and uh, get this, uh, at least fast thinking for me, to try and get this to an appreciable time limit. And uh, another thing about time, I did not time myself on this one, unlike my last video. And the reason why is because, uh, you know, first off, I mean, it, you know, it's kind of embarrassing uh, still. I mean, I, yeah, I'm proud of myself for, you know, doing this around 10 minutes. But uh, it is kind of embarrassing in the fact that there's people on YouTube that can do this a lot faster than I can. So, again, I apologize for the snooze fest. But um, at least, uh, at least I'm, you know keeping it, uh, you know, within a, within a good YouTube time limit, which is good. Um, if this were on Facebook, I'd have a lot more time, but uh, then it would be even more boring than, <laughs> than what it would be otherwise. Well, I guess I'll uh, just uh, conclude here because I'm just about uh, nearing the end of the solve. As you can see, uh, I've got a, just a few pieces left to uh, futz around with. Just three more pieces now. And here we got the problem that uh, happens with this uh, cube. Which is two pieces left and they're both flipped. So I just uh, use another part of the uh, puzzle and flip them around. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this. And there we go. I am just about done. Yeah, there we go. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye now.